discussing how to do ASMR voice to help you sleep. Today, we will be complaining about how Ryder doesn't turn on his heat <laughs> when it's minus 20 outside. Uh, so we're Ryder and Lisa. We do the morning show on Play 107, formerly known as Blank 107. No, we're and not then allowed to say that name anymore. We, we got, got sued. sued for another <laughs> station's name that we used. And then formerly Hall 107 before that. If you haven't checked out Play 107, uh, we highly recommend doing so, especially okay, if you like throwbacks. You, you what? look like everyone's mom right now trying to FaceTime their grandchildren. Like, it's just... Is it working? Your face. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, no, it's still like... No, the I'm, angle I'm is, comfortable. I know, but I'm just, I think we need to get out. It's a bit embarrassing. What is, Im there, there you are. Uh, yeah, so play 107, number one for all your throwbacks. Think about uh, cranking it up from Eminem to Britney to Backstreet Boys. It'll make your mix CD, your first ever mix CD, It'll jealous. bring back all of the nostalgic memories. Some are good, some are cringeworthy but it's worth it and the best part about it is majority of our demographic that we want to be listening are listening and it's the music they grew up that they loved listening to and then now they can show that music to their children and say look what mommy and daddy used to listen to is when still you were, cool when you were made <laughs> uh we're talking today about just trying to stay positive through a pandemic uh, it's an interesting time to be getting up and broadcasting and looking out the window and seeing one-tenth the traffic that there used to be and um, knowing that there's still an opportunity there to connect with the people that are listening and how they may need it even more right now. We've had a lot of healthcare workers reach out to us and thank us and it seems so strange to be thanked by somebody who's doing such uh, a selfless Mm -hmm. and demanding job right now so uh our shout outs to anybody who is considered uh, considered an essential service for uh for what they do and for thinking that we're an essential service right now we'll take it it's uh it's good going in there and and connecting um sharing positivity i guess is our biggest goal when we're in there whether it's our own stories or local hero stories mm -hmm. Um, there's been a lot of really cool stuff popping up and in times like these there is an opportunity for For people to really go above and beyond and show their true colors Well, and the fact that a lot of people are on social media a lot more than they usually would be Yes, people are still working at home and working hard but Or fake like, workings in some cases Yeah, working aka napping um, But no, I think that it's a great opportunity for a lot of people to do good things in their communities and you know, showcase the good side of people stepping up for one another. And that's why we want to bring those stories to light, mm -hmm. especially when they're local here in Edmonton. That's the best part about our gig is there's a lot of radio or um, streaming networks that aren't local, that aren't talking about what's happening in Edmonton yeah. right now, right? So we have that opportunity as well. Um, at play107.com slash come together, we have a really cool... Um, thing happening if you're a local business and you're still offering online services or if you're selling gift cards for when you do reopen we're giving you a free space to post all your information uh, of what you're offering and then people can go and check it out and if you are in a place where you're still working still bringing in some money mm -hmm. and want to support these businesses they need it now to keep the lights on and and whatnot so uh, that's play 107. Com slash come, come together. together and like I said there's people that are stepping up there's one guy named Paul who every two days I get emails from <laughs> who's going to that uh, website and buying a bunch of gift certificates and then sending them to me to give away to listeners so I think he's at he just sent me two more today Amazing. for Boston Pizza I think he's mm -hmm. donated like four or five hundred dollars worth of gift cards uh, that were then playing silly games on the show with to give away so uh, that's that's another one of the stories that really just brightened our day that mm -hmm. there's guys like Paul in this city that understand how important it is to support these local businesses, these locally owned stores. Right, and we have the opportunity with our platform, if there is something local that you've seen that you think is wonderful and you want to share with the world um, or with the community, you can always reach out to us. We're very active on our social media. Mm -hmm. um, 
Play 107 YEG, or you can reach out to us personally. It's the Lisa Evans and Ryder FM online. And if you have a feel good story, we do a segment called Tell Me Something Good every single morning on our show. In fact, we want to do it more on our show because people are just wanting to hear those positive stories right now. And you can always reach out to us with the details. Well, I think uh, we can do it right now to give you a little example. So uh, tell me something good. Something I heard today was uh, a Canadian owned liquor company that is set up shop in Edmonton uh, called Black Fly is delivering like liquor baskets <laughs> to healthcare workers and other frontline workers just dropping just them off leaving on them their off front step on their doorstep so if you uh, reach out to black fly if you know somebody you'd like to nominate for free booze <laughs> i just think like everybody's stepping up you hear of labat making hand sanitizer mm -hmm. uh different companies there was a big movement a tweet yesterday that uh, we retweeted about uh a young man in edmonton who suggested if you're looking for exercise go shovel a healthcare worker's step or driveway that right. you know like they're working there was one nurse that i had on a zoom conference call with my gym like a bunch of us were just hanging out and catching up and she's a nurse that just finished 70 hours in a week of working and she was like literally falling asleep on the zoom conference call mm -hmm. like they're working so hard the last thing they want to do is come home and then shovel their walkway so we just loved that tweet or go buy local. booze <laughs> and we retweeted it, we posted it online, and it took off. And I'm sure that a lot more people in Edmonton were stepping up and doing that. So it's awesome to have that ability to use our platform for, for stories like that as well. So radio, I know it seems crazy at first when you're like, okay, there's a pandemic. How are we essential? We have that ability to get your stories out there mm -hmm. and those feel-good stories that everybody craves right now. Yeah, it's uh, it's a pretty interesting time to, to be a broadcaster um, I've, I've broadcast through some pretty tough stuff, uh, some mass shootings, some news stories that you just couldn't think would get any worse, but usually, uh, the day of you can focus on the information that people need to know about the story mm -hmm. and then past that, um, you get a chance at reflecting on what shook down and hearing people's stories about how they felt about it or what they went through, um, um, during those scary situations. But with this one, it's just ongoing yet there's no chance really for reflection when it's you're continuing to get new things mm -hmm. uh, popping up every day so uh, going in there with the positive attitude that we've been talking about is just right from moment one when we step into the studio and start writing about what we're going to be talking about on the show it, it all stems from how do we uplift how do we share these stories and celebrate the heroes in times like this and there are a lot of them mm -hmm. and also like I said earlier, how a lot of people are online on social media a lot more. If you're someone that is very creative and you want to have a reason, an excuse to start exploring your creative side, this is the time to do it mm -hmm. because people are watching and they will watch anything at this point. Like I'm excited for a Lindsay Lohan song that's coming out tomorrow. <laughs> right. I'm excited <laughs> about that. So use this as a great opportunity for you to get creative, kind of like what cre the whole idea behind creative hive itself is mm -hmm. to bring out your creative side and i think that's so wonderful and we need that uh, i want to give them a big shout out for hosting us today on this facebook live and also for hosting the 100 kids who care um, movement that we started here in edmonton a good friend of mine was doing it in calgary and i just saw a great opportunity to bring kids together mm -hmm. uh, they fundraise the money uh, minimum $20 and then they come and vote after hearing about three local charities for who they think the money should go to and then we separate it accordingly we give a little more to the winner and uh, and leave the other two with their hands full of cash as well just because <laughs> we want to support all the charities but uh, so you guys have a Facebook page yeah 100 kids, kids who care, who care edmonton. edmonton and then the 100 kids who care yeg on facebook seems to be the one where des from creative hive is updating tickets and which are and free she's amazing uh, at all of that so how blessed are you to have her working with you yeah she's the best um, uh des and i played slow pitch together and i brought this idea up that i was thinking about doing it maybe needed a location and needed somebody to spearhead it because i'm terribly disorganized <laughs> and uh she's the, perfect, she's person for the it. perfect teammate so shout out to des and the creative hive so the next event has been postponed 
Uh, that seems yes. pretty obvious at this point, but we'll let you know. Uh, keep checking Facebook, The Creative Hive, my Facebook page if you search for Ryder mm -hmm. or uh, 100 Kids Who Care Edmonton. And some other things that are postponed, like I run a, an Edmonton local book club. I have a separate Instagram account if there's any ladies that are listening or guys, doesn't matter. It's Lisa's Ladies YEG on Instagram and it's a great community there as well for women who are reaching out, asking questions if they need help with anything. Like the latest post I did I think was a mom who has a one-year-old and she just didn't know what cream to get for her kids eczema and I'll just post that question and there are so many wonderful women and people in the Edmonton area that are commenting giving the best advice they can and it's a great platform for me to use as well to just give some love to some other local businesses around the city that could use it um, and you guys do book clubs right so Sorry, yes and we have a Lisa's ladies book club so that was postponed we'll probably do like a zoom conference call with wine at some point because why not right and i'm sure the creative hive may be interested in hosting one of the book club events yes. down the road so yes. we'll we'll talk with them too but uh thank you for tuning in thank you for trying to keep your spirits up i mean what we implement in our broadcasting philosophy through something like this i think is uh something that everyone can take with their daily lives too not that we're ignoring any of the seriousness of the issue oh, absolutely. or or avoiding information that's important because we're trying to pump that up too. But it's okay to laugh and talk about other things with friends and, and connect in different ways while we all do our best to get over this as quickly as we can. Right, like you don't want to be going to work and at the water cooler with a safe distance only talking about the sad, upsetting news. You want to be able to have something else that other people can relate with and laugh about. So we kind of, we try our best to bring that to the table as well. Yes, pimp the positivity. That's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they wouldn't let me use that as a tagline for the show. Uh, thank you for tuning in. We appreciate it very much. Uh, we're Ryder and Lisa from Play 107. Find us at 107.1 on your radio dial. You yep. can also listen on your Google Home uh, if you enable the Play 107 option. Skill. And uh, Alexa as well. Mm -hmm. And we have a podcast as well, Ryder and Lisa Replay. You can check that out or listen live if you're up early, if you're a keener, 5.30 a.m. till 9 a.m. Monday to Friday. Thanks, Creative Hive. Love you. Bye.